Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's a 2024 BMW M2 in black sapphire metallic with the black Vernosca leather interior. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW M2 G87 in black sapphire metallic. This unit is currently available it's with the six-speed manual transmission, and we've got M carbon uh, package on here as well. This is obviously black sapphire metallic, looking super menacing, especially with those lights on here. And man, red calipers, that's hot. And we're in the basement while we're under renovations. So after I do this full lap, let's take a look at all the details. And yes, I want this car. <laughs> so we got black sapphire metallic. This is a color that's available pretty well on every single BMW. Look at that lovely power dome. Just showing us that there's not enough room in, underneath the hood here to hold all this power. We've got the lovely BMW Rondell, the nice vertical slats on the kidney grill, M2 badging on the, the driver's side, and down here, nice big square intakes. I like it better without the radar thing in the middle. <laughs> and of course, we've got the beautiful shadow line, adaptive LED headlights. I love these headlights. I think they look so cool. This would look really good with the yellow ones especially. But overall, I love the front end of this car. Uh, it looks just so menacing. And if you kind of look from this angle, like just look at those front fenders, how far they're sticking out. I love that. Now, when we come around to the side, you'll see that we've got the 19 inch front, 20 inch rear, double spoke, 930M wheels in black with that massive, amazing red M compound brake. That looks awesome. We've got the reflector here in our market and you can see the cutting body line just right here. Very square and up this cutting body line into that massive rear quarter. Look at that craziness. And we've got M wing mirrors, black window surrounds, carbon fiber roof, Look at that beautiful carbon fiber. We've got that new style antenna, Hofmeister kink, new style door handles. There's the 20 inch rear wheel. That looks awesome. Uh, this could do a little drop. A couple of spacers here will also make it perfect. We've got body colored spoiler <clears throat> and the trunk lid. Nice, iconic G-Body 2 Series tail lights. Got the vertical reflectors on each side. We've got the exterior black contents, black chrome tips on the quad exhaust. And let me just go ahead and press unlock here on the key, or sorry, not unlock, truck, tail, uh, tailgate release. Lift that up. So we've got a bunch of mats in here. It's illuminated. Release lever up here to fold down the seats. They fold down in a 60-40 split. And this side we've got the glow-in-the-dark escape handle. This side we've got the grocery bag hanger right here. It's hard to kind of see. And we've got this netted area that is not up right now. Front plate bracket, air inflator kit. And when we're done with this, we do have some handles on either side. So we can close this without touching the exterior. And I'll just get those tail lights on again because it looks cool. M2 badging. And then when we come around here, connected to the central locking system, we've got the fuel cap door. We're looking for 93 octane Shell V power. And then when I go over here, open the door up. So we've got the M illuminated highlighters in here. We have interesting triangular pattern on the door kind of hard to see Harman Kardon sound system 
some pockets down here as well. M2 aluminum door sill, M carbon bucket seat, side bolster. I love that it's got these handles here. And these seats are not only M carbon buckets, but they've got the M highlighter colors. So it's got the nice M colors going around the chair. Illuminated M2 badging here as well. Removable headrest section for uh, space for your pillow. And of course, the crotch carbon fiber piece. We've got the little strap here with the M colors. So I put the seat into the acute angle, slides forward, giving us space. To check out the rear here, M uh, seat belts. M seat belts in the rear. Black Vernosca leather seating surfaces. No armrest in the center, but we do have a pass through. Got some reading lights up top. Back of the center console, got some climate, con uh, climate vents, no climate controls. And we've also got some vents underneath the front seat, kind of hard to see though. And don't forget we've got the coat hanger in the back of the B pillar on each side. And then when I put the seat into the recline position, but I just want to take a look at these awesome seats from the back. That carbon fiber is insane. The seat will return to its previous position. Now we've also got carbon fiber trim. So that looks really awesome. I wish I had this in my car. Or I wish this was my car. Open that up. We've got illuminated glove box. We've got my good old friend, six speed manual transmission. <laughs> I drive eight. And inside of here, we have the wireless charger that is like this. It still will probably charge not fast, but it's different uh, than we've seen. And we've got also the USB type C. So I've been noticing if you have the automatic wireless charger would be in here. If we have the manual, the wireless charger is over there. So now here we've got some storage space, USB A, 12 volt plug, cup holders. And with the manual, this is arranged a little differently than the automatic. So the iDrive controller is pushed backwards a little bit to make space for this uh, shift knob. We've got park assist up here. Engine start stop off, push start button in red, uh, setup, M mode, exhaust, uh, handbrake, uh, or sorry, electronic parking brake, and then the traction button's way down here. Let's go open the door on the other side next. All right, so if we approach from the driver's side, just gonna lift this up. We have M illuminated highlighters in here, memory buttons, Window controls, side mirror controls, tailgate release, pocket down here, Harman Kardon up here as well, aluminum M door sill, and that looks awesome. Again, full carbon buckets. I love these seats. I need these seats. <sighs> I've got the M steering wheel with the carbon fiber all over it. M tricolor stitching on the steering wheel as well. The lovely red M1, M2 config buttons. And we've got head-up display. We also have universal garage door opener on the underside of the rear view mirror. Just gonna grab a seat in here, shut the door. And you know what? Press the brake, press the clutch, press the start button. I love that it's a manual and it tells you what gear you're in. That's pretty awesome. Yep, that's cool. And another thing that's really cool, so some people have been asking me, uh, with the manual transmission, are you able to do automatic parking? And the answer is 100% yes. So automatic parking, it works uh, just the same as like G80. So it can uh, parallel park, back park. Uh, you just have to balance the clutch and you, you're the one who has to adjust the gears because you can't do it automatically. But it can absolutely do that. So that's that function there. We also have the backup assistant. So you can remember 50 meters and go back uh, with the same steering inputs you went forward. And backup camera quality looks great. Red X indicates tightest angle the car can cut full lock left or right. And the green lines will move with the steering wheel trajectory, kind of like this. Right. And parking sensors front and rear. So that's all fine and dandy. Let's shut off the engine. And I love how 
encapsulated you feel in here because it's got the black roof liner up top. Yep, open that, lights turn on. And of course we've got the SOS button up here in case you need roadside assistance. So now that we've taken a nice look inside the car, Let's go and pop the hood and take a look at the S58. Okay, so I've pulled the hood latch twice, so we don't have to find anything here. We just lift this up, and there it is, the beautiful S58 3-liter inline-six twin-turbo, 453 horsepower, 406 foot-pounds of torque. I've heard that the M2 may be getting a torque bump. Can't confirm yet, but I have read some things about that. Triangular strut brace, that looks awesome. Positive battery terminal, negative battery terminal, washer fluid. I want S58. I longed for B58, I love B58, but now I want S58. When will it end? What a beast. Okay, so got the hood closed again. Let's get the headlights back on. I'm just gonna press and hold panic for one second so we can get the pathway lighting on so you can see what the low beams look like. So that's what it looks like, low beams on. Now keep in mind, because this is the manual transmission from factory, it does not come with remote engine start. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to take to drive a manual transmission in the year 2024. And Man, I, I've priced this car out so many times, I can't afford it. I wish I could, and if I could, I would. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this awesome M2 spec. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2024 BMW M2 Coupe in black sapphire metallic with the M carbon package and six-speed manual transmission. It's available now. Give me a call, send me an email, DM me. You can DM me on my Instagram, follow me, Alan BMW Durham. If you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we've got pricing information in the description. We've got some links in there for the equipment that I use to make these videos. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.